How's it going, everyone? Thank you for tuning in to another episode here at Figure Out Films. I'm your host, as always, and I'm so excited today because I got a box. And not just any box. This is a box full of 4K Blu-rays from one of my favorite boutique labels. Actually, it's probably my favorite. And of course, I'm talking about Arrow Video. Now, if you are new to the channel, if you're new to boutique collecting, um, basically, Arrow Video is a UK company that puts out awesome cult B-movie horror exploitation, Italian films, foreign films. Um, they're basically like the, you know, questionable younger brother of Criterion outside the US is a good way to put it. I think they borrow a lot from that catalog and then they also put out stuff that the catalog is missing. They do great 4Ks. In my opinion, they probably put the best formatted films in the market today. The only thing is sometimes when you buy from Arrow Video, they do have a US store, but a lot of the best titles are available on their UK site and you have to pay um, you know, the extra shipping for it. But um, you get some great, great films. And the only catch is a lot of them are region locked, but Arrow has stepped into the 4K game for physical media. And me, um, I, I just bought a new 4K player not that long ago. Not to brag, but it is a Panasonic. Um, UD 9000, which is the top of the line market. And uh, I've been splurging on 4K whenever I get the chance. I've really caught an eye for the fo for the format. And honestly, in my opinion, Arrow does put out the best transfers. So Arrow recently had a 4K Easter sale um, on their website. And uh, it was for the US and UK. And uh, a lot of 4Ks were on sale, some Blu-rays. And I missed out on the Screen Factory sale. That was back in February, so I figured this was my chance um, to splurge a little. And uh, it finally came, and I want to show you all what I got today. Uh, they had a lot of great Blu-rays, limited, some limited edition sets for sale. Um, if you collect Screen Factory, you'll definitely like Arrow, because they usually put out similar releases or the same types of movies. Um, my personal opinion is that the Arrow versions are a little bit better. The 4K disc and the Blu-ray disc are usually um, at a higher bit rate, in my opinion. I just also love the cover art, um, and, and the packaging is just always better, in my opinion. Um, but to go ahead ahead and go first on 4k i got tenebrae this is again the new 4k and the nice thing about it like i said earlier with arrow because they are uk they are usually region locked blu-rays so you need a region free player which i do have but because they're 4k they're region free baby so i mean if you have a 4k player you can play arrow 4k movies so i have tenebrae here i know that synapse films another boutique label had put this out on 4k but I love keeping my um, my labels closer together. I don't really collect a lot of uh, Synapse, um, so I opted for the Arrow. And it does um, show off what's great. And really, when you're collecting 4K, if you're stepping to this market, I recommend, unless you don't have the Blu-ray, to get the 4K if it says a 4K restoration from the original camera negative. Because that's going to tell you that they have the a close to original source material um, or the best source material that they can get, and they've done a great job on it. Obviously do reviews. I use high def digest. Um, I use a couple other sources as well. Um, but the other thing you got to look out for is the video and the audio output. So this one has Dolby vision, which is HDR 10 compatible. So you're going to get a lot of HDR color pop. And if you know the movie well, um, and you know, there's great color, you're going to get really good depth. And I highly recommend that sometimes movies just put, are just put on 4k and it doesn't say, um, from the original camera negative, it's good to say a 4K scan uh, or a 2K upscale, um, or it might not have the Dolby Vision, um, which is the best you can get. It's probably not worth the upgrade, especially if they're newer movies. I don't think you really need to upgrade new films. Um, honestly, if they're older movies um, shot on actual film, they're going to look great on 4K, especially if they had color. The other thing is uh, I wanted to upgrade it due to the Dolby Audio as well that's included on this. Now, if you know me, I love Tenebrae and I love that awesome score where it's just the bass. And like, I know the audio is great. I got a new sound bar as well. So it's got a pop. Um, I'm just super excited to watch this. And it, it's a great transfer. The reviews were great. I did have the Blu-ray for a long time. And I believe the Blu-ray was a 2K scan. Um, but I just needed the 4k, man. I mean, it's just like, it's just one of those movies. I just need to upgrade. So got that there next on the list. You're going to see a, a, a slight pattern as well. Um, 
I got from Dario Argento, which Tenebrae is by Dario Argento, is of course Italian horror filmmaker. First time blind by this is Phenomena, um, or Phenomena. I don't, I'm not quite sure how you pronounce it. Um, I love this cover, <laughs> obviously, and it has Jennifer Conley uh, as the star, and it has Donald Pleasance as well from Dr. Loomis fame. Um, again, another Argento Arrow 4K. I think this cover looks good. I like the, the, the cover art for these Argento movies that it just got new scans. Once again, 4K from the, uh, of the original 116 Italian version uh, with the original camera negative. Also, HDR10, lossless Italian DT master audio. There's also Dolby audio. This thing is just to the nines. So excited to watch this one next. I hear just absolutely crazy. Um, next film on the list, another Italian horror. This one was hard to get because it was sold out. Um, the limited edition very quickly. I could have got a chance to get it. Didn't check out on time. Then I could have got the standard edition sold out. And then the last day of the sale, they restocked. That is Blood in Black Lace by Mario Bava. Is uh, Italian giallo horror director. Watched this for the first time on my Blu-ray edition. Honestly, the Blu-ray edition was meh, fine. Um, I, I, I thought the movie could have looked better. Um, so once I knew that this 4k had come out, I was like, man, I got to get my hands on this. And I honestly love this cover way, way, way more. Um, I absolutely love this movie as a first time watch. This is a movie I'm going to go back and watch pretty often. I've really caught that Italian giallo bug. And, uh, this is the, one of the more recent watches where I absolutely loved it and enjoyed it. There was great color good depth. So I knew that this movie was going to have a great transfer. And again, this is a 4k restoration from the 4k negative with the correct, um, uh, color gamut as well. The previous four Blu-ray didn't have the correction on there. HDR 10 Dolby audio chock full of, um, uh, of bonus features. When you, when you buy an arrow Blu-ray or 4k, you're going to get all those supplements on there as well. Reversible cover art. Um, Again, I haven't opened them. If you check out the Instagram channel for uh, Figure Out Films, I'll probably post these with their alternative art. Um, but just absolutely excited for this. Again, I just got the box, you know, so <laughs> I haven't got a chance to break into them yet. I just wanted to show off what I got and give me your thoughts. Have you seen Blood and Black Lace? Have you even watched any Mario Bava movies? And if you haven't, I totally recommend it. I actually have the Mario Bava um, Visions box set from Arrow, all of them on Blu-ray together in one set. It's just chef's kiss it's a, it's an amazing set i love it it's one of my favorite um box sets in the collection moving on next uh, so i did i did have the the blu-ray of this from another boutique label i had this through K criterion and uh, i saw that it was getting a 4k release and um i recently had watched just a little bit of my blu-ray and it was good it was fine criterion puts out good um blu-rays but i Thought the cover art was kind of all right. It was man, you know, but um, I, I prefer to have a definitive version and I was only wanting to upgrade a few more. So um, that is David Cronenberg's video drone. I really like this cover. It's really unique. Um, but the big thing is it's a 4K scan from the original camera negative once again with both the full director's cuts and the US cut approved by Cronenberg. Um, Dolby Audio. Um, it doesn't have Dolby Vision. Oh, it does have Dolby Vision as well. So... I had the Blu-ray. My Blu-ray is a Panasonic um, 4K upscaler. So, I mean, it would have been fine. This is just, I, I, I wanted it on the on 4K, honestly. Um, and uh, now it's here. I was so close to getting Crash, but I haven't seen it. And I'm a little afraid <laughs> to just buy it. But maybe the next sale or when I watch it um, through a stream. But still, my God. Um, if you haven't seen Videodrome, James Wood stars in this. And um, it's just a crazy movie of like going through like, hallucination and just like what you know tv brain rot can do and i i mean it just how do i even describe videodrome i don't know i i saw this for the first time i asked, actually didn't even realize what i was watching half the time but i really liked it um and i'm excited to give it another shot as well on 4k um, as well. So shout out Cronenberg and uh, Videodrome with that upgrade right there. There is a Criterion US 4K coming out if you are wanting to upgrade it. I believe the original Blu-ray from Criterion was a 2K scan, which is fine, but at 4K, it's just double. Uh, you know, you could just get more bitrate on that disc. And it's a grainy film, so I mean, it's going to look great. The big thing also with 4K that I noticed is the skin textures. 
a lot of times when you watch a Blu-ray, the skin textures, though it's a sharper image, you're not getting the full color depth. A lot of times that people look pale. Um, things look a lot brighter than they need to be. And on 4K, sure, it looks darker, but the skin tone looks a lot better. You see some reds and stuff like that. So I, I like that. Next, this was I, this was mainly the reason I wanted to, to get some stuff from this was because I, I had the Blu-ray um, and I guess I had sold it for some reason, but I love this movie. It's one of my all-time favorite sci-fi movies. Um, and the fact that I have it now in a definitive release, I mean, I've been wanting this for the right price and I finally did. That is Pitch Black with Vin Diesel. This is a sci-fi movie, um, I think from 2000 uh, or 2001, I could be mistaken, but it's the first movie in the Riddick franchise. Um, and basically Riddick uh, is uh, captured with a bunch of travelers. It's kind of like Alien in some way. Um, where they're traveling through space and they they crash land on a planet and they realize that the sun is going down and when it does it's going to be like a total eclipse darkness um, for a long time longer than they'll probably be alive um, so they're trying to leave the planet and they realize that there's alien species on here that are hunting them and the only one that can help them is Riddick who can actually see at night with his eyes Vin Diesel's awesome in this the movie's terrifying. Uh, I just love it. It's it's just and I remember watching even as a kid thinking this movie looks so good. Yeah, there's a lot of digital, um, you know, CGI and stuff. Um, but I always thought the movie looked great from a direction standpoint, and uh, I always wanted a, a definitive edition of it. And now I do on and it's on 4K, so I'm excited. Again, 4K restoration of the theatrical and director's cut. Got to watch the director's cut. Um, and you're gonna get a Dolby Audio, so you don't get HDR. Oh, you do. You do get HDR10. Now that's that's even better because there are a lot of colors in this movie. Um, I'm hoping they fix the the blacks in this movie because when it turns black, um, it looks a little ugly at times and it's hard to see shit. And I'm hoping that they fix that with this 4K scan. So I'm very excited to watch this movie. Have you seen Pitch Black? I was a kid when I saw this movie. I loved Alien. So obviously when I heard uh, about an alien movie with Vin Diesel, you know, I, I had to watch it. it. Has Keith David in it as well. And honestly, the Riddick franchise is just awesome. I think that's a franchise that gets overlooked, honestly. So um, I wish they put out the box set, to be honest, with this um, Dark Fury, which is the animated sequel after this, and then Chronicles of Riddick, um, and then the last one just called Riddick, um, the fourth one, which wasn't that too bad, honestly. It's kind of a throwback to the first one. I wish they put out a box set, Arrow. I mean, you put out a children of the corn box set might as well have done this so pitch black there you have it moving on um is another another exciting movie again an other upgrade i have this on blu-ray watched it loved it knew i was going to be re-watching it often and you know what why not just watch it in the best quality that i can not crazy about the cover art i like the original arrow commission cover art um but it still has the original italian cover art, which is great too that is the bird with the crystal plumage, plumage, spoolage, spoomage? I, I don't know. The Bird of the Crystal Plumage, Dario Argento. Um, this is his first time director debut uh, for a feature length. This movie's great. I mean, when you watch an Italian giallo, it's a murder mystery. And a lot of times our protagonist isn't an, a private investigator. Usually they're like an artist or there's something else that gets thrown into this like web of like, mystery and stumbling upon a murder and trying to help out and figure out who it is and um of course you get like you know the trench coat the black gloves the switchblade um you know the the kills with the cool jazz score in the back I, I i'm eating that shit up lately um and with this when i watched it i just was in love with what i was seeing i love the protagonist in this movie sam I just like his, uh, like, I don't, I don't know, it's almost like a Philip Marlowe kind of attitude. I enjoy the reveal of the killer and the, 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 just the, the whole mystery is engaging and there's some kind of red herrings at times that work really well. Um, this movie's shot excellent. You get great location. Uh, it's a really well paced movie. Um, and when the, the dots connect, even with the mystery being figured out, it's still a great ride. And I was pleasantly surprised with this. Um, awesome movie. Again, Dolby Audio, 4K from the original negative, Dolby Vision as well. Um, yeah, I just really, really, really enjoy this movie. I think it's great. Um, and I, you know, they've been putting out so many upgrades of Argento's films on 4K with rave reviews. They're colorful movies. They sound great. They look good on film. Um, the Blu-rays already looked good. I'm excited to see how even better the 4Ks are, um, as well. 
in the gr- in the black case of the 4Ks, they're honestly growing on me. I'm not going to lie. I love the clear case that Arrow does provide, but I don't know. The black case is kind of nice. <laughs> Moving along, because I ordered just enough from Arrow, they gave a free gift of your choice um, of Blu-ray movies. So I did get a Blu-ray of this movie called Empathy, Inc. I've never seen this before. I'll be honest, the list of free movies, I understand why they were free. I've never heard of this movie, but the premise just sounded so interesting and it got good reviews. Um, walk a mile in someone's shoe or someone else after a multi-million dollar deal goes bust disgraced venture capitalist joel and his actress wife jessica are forced to move in with her overbearing parents and try to start their lives um and it seems like it's basically a twilight zone mixed with primer exploring the themes of identity crisis poverty tourism and the greed of humanity sounds like a eat the rich kind of shit that i would love so um when i read the synopsis uh, online i was like yeah i'll give this one a try and it's free um it is a v- uh, region b blu-ray um so but no problems for me um here but now we're getting to the good stuff i got a couple special movies from the sale i got the limited edition 4k release of deep red here as well this was only 20 bucks from arrow's website with the limited edition was able to get this um i remember trying to watch deep red and i think i had rented it or tried streaming it and i never got to finish it and uh, i don't own the blu-ray either so the fact that i could get the limited edition for just the cheap just as cheap as the 4k release standard releases um was a no-brainer i love how it's like this this italian cover release instead of the the deep red um release i'm excited to rewatch this especially on 4k um restored original lossless mono italian um 4k restoration of both cuts the italian and the exported version hdr 10 dolby audio my god (laughs) i'm excited i I, i've been loving the argento dive and the bava um so I'm, i'm glad i got to 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 snag this at such a good price what's everyone's favorite argento i'm thinking i'm gonna watch you know, deep red next, (laughs) but I don't know. I'm really liking it. I'm surprised we don't have a box set of his yet. Moving on. I have another limited edition, um, 4k. I had the Blu-ray that was out of print for the longest time. And, uh, I was able to snag the limited edition of true romance on 4k HDR 10, uh, 4k restorations of both theatrical and director's cut from the original negative. Uh, Dolby Audio HDR10. Yeah, HDR10. You get a booklet, you get a poster. Um if anyone has seen True Romance, it's truly a great time. My parents love this movie. Christian Slater, Patricia Arquette. Just just a great great movie. And uh I had that bummy Blu-ray for the longest time and now I have this once hard to get film on 4K. I'm excited for this. Tony Scott directs this. Um, and to have it in this really cool, clean, hard box. I mean, yeah, this is this is great stuff. And then finally, one more upgrade. I have the limited edition set. I've had it for the longest time. I, I had the Blu-ray as well, but I wanted to upgrade it because I love it so much. That is the RoboCop 4K. Again, I had the Blu-ray, sold the Blu-ray, but kept the hard case um because it's just so amazing it's robocop um have the 4k finally with the 4k restoration of the camera negative um by mgm um this was actually approved by um the director paul verhoven uh hdr 10 dolby atmos which is what you want um my god the dolby atmos is gonna pop it's just the loudest that's close to the imax enhanced audio um yeah so i had to upgrade this on the 4k and uh swap it out with my blu-ray as well which basically covered it so um and there you have it that is all i picked up during the arrow sale i had such a great time um just going through them as you you know you can see i'm super excited i'm curious to know what everyone else picked up when arrow has a sale i always want to participate but you know when you have to pay the shipping price it's a, it's a little steep but when you consider you know things from screen factory and such like that the extra cost is kind of worth it to be honest when it comes to arrow um, so yeah, look out again for more Arrow sales in the future. Um, I highly recommend some of these pickups. They're great movies. Um, I'm waiting for a Screen Factory sale because there's a few I, um, I need to pick up from there. Obviously, we're going to get a Criterion sale at some point too, but um, stuff for another video. 
Let me know down in the comments below. What did you think of this haul? What did you pick up? What did you wish you could have picked up? Um, what do you think of Arrow video? Let me know down in the comments below. Sound off. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button if you did like this video. We're growing. I like to see it. Um, maybe we'll even do a live stream in the future. Um, but other than that, thank you all for tuning in. My name's Chris here at Figure Out Films. And remember, if you are not buying Arrow videos for your physical media collection, do you really care about cinema? Other than that, I'll see you next time.